Shark Heads and Islanders, welcome back to another video. Today's video from the windy Isle of Man today is all about what I've got in this backpack. It's a Gladius Mini underwater submarine or remotely operated vehicle. Now this thing's capable of 330 feet down and out uh, and 100 meters. It can be upgraded to a 500 meter tether, but 100 meters I think suffices for what we're gonna do with this thing in future expeditions, uh, chum in the waters, uh, going to shark hotspots here and uh, yeah just checking out a few adventures i've also got a few other things lined up for it including uh there's a reservoir here with a village that used to be there i'd like to check that out and also another area where we used to keep polar bears back in the day so i'd like to send it in there and see what's down there but today conditions aren't great i'm going to be honest it's a bit windy and uh, the tide down there is on the change so we're just coming out of low tide, but I can't really send it off here in high tide because we'll have boats coming in and out. And as you'll see from the tether, that's not very optimal. Uh, full disclosure, I'm not sponsored this video. I'm not trying to sell this unit to anybody. It's just a thought I'll discuss that it's quite useful for the shark expeditions. Okay, let's get to it. So it comes in this uh, backpack, which is actually quite good quality to be fair. So open her up, nice microfiber towel inside. This is where the money's at, so let's look at this first. First thing you'll notice is we've got five thrusters, so we've got one, two, three, four, and then one at the rear, five. This is particularly useful because it allows the uh, submarine to go forward, backwards. You can tilt it, and you can also lock it in. Uh, you can lock it at a depth, and you can also lock it down like that, which is very useful. The only thing you can't do is pan side to side which anyone who flies like a DJI drone will be able to tell you is very useful. There's only one connection, it's this here. It's like a little, um, see it there? It's a military spec kind of a hard metal connector. That's all you need. It's all sealed. Comes with a Sony camera on the front and uh, two rather large LED lights. Uh, shoots in 4K, which is very useful. Now, I've used this in some pretty murky conditions and it always uh, shows pretty good. One thing I will say is if conditions are a bit sandy muddy uh, it's not ideal so you are sort of determined by your environment uh, these are the sort of connections so this here this is a 100 meter tether which connects at both ends one to the uh, controller unit and then the other one to the drone uh, you can see the little slits here this is where it fills with water because it has to fill with water to obviously go underwater uh, underneath for anyone who's going to use this in fresh water, it comes with a weight, uh, a fresh water module and a seawater. Either way, I've used it with both and it, it's pretty good. It's pretty robust. Now you might think the tether here is a bit of a limitation. It's not because once you bang this in the water, you cannot see and figure out where you are. So it's very useful. Uh, it's like a foam to the line. So it does, it does float which is useful. And then in this dry compartment here, you'll see we have, this is the brains of the operation. So this plugs into the, the cable to the drone and then that links to the controller. Control is all right, nothing special, feels a bit cheap, but does the job. And then you've got a phone holder. So without further ado, I'm gonna rig it up and show you it in operation. Okay, so you can see the quality of that connection just connects in, simple little turn screw. This isn't waterproof, okay? Don't drop that in the water. Then what we do is we pay this out into the water. This is hundred meters, as I've said. Once you connect that to your drone, what I will say is I need to, for using this off the boat, I'm gonna put this on like a, an empty electrical spool wheel, just to easier pay out. It's gonna be much easier for that. Okay, so top connection here. This will just connect into there, which I'll do shortly. Then this will link to my phone and will be sorted. It's actually really good at not getting snagged. It's just the nature of the cable. It doesn't really snag very easy. Coming from a skydiving and paragliding background, I can't tell you how nice that is. Everything snags in that environment. Okay. Trick is get as much out as you think you'll need beforehand. Easier than doing it when it starts pulling. Okay, so we got, we're on the screen now. It's bloody windy. The reason I'm wearing my backpack is because I've got my mic here. There's every chance gonna end up in the drink. So yeah, conditions aren't great. We'll go for it. Who dares wins and all. We're on. 
spin around, check it's transmitting. Yes, it is. You can see my ugly face. All right. So all you do is, mate, drop her in the water. So she's in. Got my tether going to the top. So I'm going to pull a bit of slack down. So I'm going to press the button to unlock it. You should see it kick in a bit. Send her off. There she goes. I'm going to steadily walk up a bit higher. So as you can see, we're roaming around. Water conditions aren't great. But my primary use for this is not going to be off a pier. It's going to be off a boat when we're chumming waters. I had it out yesterday in crystal clear water and it was beautiful. I went into a nice little cave. I did notice some limitations though. If you get anywhere near seaweed, it's stuck in any of the thrusters, it's game over. You've got to almost pull it back in. Oh, hang on, hello, there's a fish. And that's when the tether is handy because I cannot see at all where I am. So as you can see, it's fed off into the water now. You can see it disappearing off. That gives me an indication of where we're at. We've got a little bit of a current coming in and that's what it's fighting against. Uh, half from free dived in this area on the tidal change, it, is, it isn't great. From the uh, screen record, uh, we've got quite a lot of controls here. It tells us the depth, it tells me where the lights are, the angle we are. Yeah, it's really good. Just a quick overview today. You're gonna to see plenty more of this on the channel. But I did say I'd uh, show you guys it, so this is me showing it. Just come to the top of the pier and you can see it all the way down there. Not much visibility of what I'm looking at here. Marching on. It's got three speeds as well, which is quite useful. Time to ring her in, I think. All right. See if I remember where she is. I think I just got snagged in a touch of seaweed there. I'm gonna to have to go and retrieve. Bloody hell. Wet legs coming. There you see the seaweed snagged around there. A definite limitation of the uh, device. I did leave the lights on. See, see how bright they are? Actually, epic. Turn them up and down, but I have to say, for any sort of use, you need lights. We can just hold her like that and she'll drain out. Then I'll retrieve the cable. Now can you see why I didn't want to use that cable when there was boats coming in and out? Be a bit sketched too. There we go, guys. A very quick, little bit rough of a first look. I'm not really going to be reviewing technology or anything like that. Don't worry, that's not the way we're going. I just wanted to show you guys, basically, my intent for something like this. Because this is going to be unbelievable. Think about it. Uh, off a boat, chumming the waters, capable of over 300 feet. I'm going to drop it down, tilt it up, see what comes. And with it being bright yellow as well, I think this attracts sharks in its own right. I've seen a video of one of these getting attacked by a Mako shark. Uh, I mean, I would happily accept the loss for, for the entertainment value of it alone. Yeah, really good bit of kit. I can't say enough for it. Stand by for future adventures that aren't quite shark related with it as well. Like, like I said, a bit of treasure hunting. I just hope I don't come across someone in lead shoes, buried. Can you imagine? There we go. So whether it's this camera or something like a GoPro when I'm in the water, I look forward to showing you guys more of the marine life around the British Isles. Thanks for clicking on. Appreciate your support. And uh, take it easy. Stay safe.